What can you tell me about your character on Dead of Summer? Um, I would say that Blair is kind of the quintessential gay best friend. Um, you know, he's snarky, he's fun, he's fashionable, but you know, he's a loyal friend and, and uh, he's, he's, yeah, I mean, he's a loyal friend. And what did you think of the what was fashionable in 1989? Well, I wear a lot of band t-shirts and a lot of like mesh shorts, uh, which I thought were quite cool. Um, the 80s aren't really my era, but you know. Now the show's on Freeform and Justin kind of paved the way for characters like you see on The Fosters. Does that make you feel special at all? I suppose. I mean, I don't think it necessarily makes me feel special. I think that, you know, Justin was a character that was written. I didn't create him uh, in the sense of what was written and the storylines that were portrayed. But I do feel that, you know, I feel very fortunate to have maybe paved the way for characters, LGBTQ characters that are portrayed today. I mean, you know, there are a lot of great, a lot of great actors um, that have been quite brave and that have been uh, quite open with, with portraying characters that they, uh, you know, that, that either, you know, for me, Justin hit me very close to home. But for other people, you know, those characters happen. And we need all of the representations that we could possibly get. So. And will your character get a love interest in season one? Um, well, we're hoping so. Are you hoping that he does? Yes, of course. And what do you think people will like the most about Dead of Summer? I think that people will like the kind of intersection of, you know, character study and the relationships that are, that are fostered but also this element of supernatural horror. You know, it, it is quite a, a fantastic juxtaposition. Um, and I think that people will respond quite well to it.